So if you guys aren't aware, I, uh, I moved. I'm still in Houston, but uh, I moved to another suburb. So the workout stuff here, um, which doesn't get utilized that much. It's good equipment stuff, but it's out in a garage right now. Uh, it's a better garage than we used to have, but you can see it's all packed. Got some old rims from the last Corvette over there. So gotta get rid of those things. I think I'm gonna donate them. Actually, we've been donating a ton of stuff. We moved into a bigger home and realized we got a lot of shit that we don't need um, unnecessarily. I need very few toys and stuff to make me happy. We have a baby on the way, which is amazing. And uh, all I need is my family and uh, some of my sports stuff. So got plenty of stuff. And I think you guys have seen the the ride. Obviously upgraded. I had the O2 Corvette for six years, and I got a 2015. So got it. I already got the title. Very happy about that. Got the daily driver, the quad cab. Beautiful truck. Of course, it's green. So shout out to the herd and then uh you can't see because there's sun here but uh new place but um so it's a three-car garage although you can see it just storage in the vet right now um backyards are all nice too but anyway just wanted to give me an idea and let you know that we moved so if you have my address which is probably about three or four hundred of you guys um got the marshall sign right there too so i'm gonna redo this whole landscape by the way i don't know if you guys are into that shit or not it's probably not but um yeah, I'm going to redo all this. I'm going to tear this out, like tear that, that porch thing out, uh, line it up, bring it out here. Uh, anyway, in the spring, probably with my father-in-law. I think he's going to come up here and help after the baby's born a couple months after or whatever. So. But uh, yeah, there's a house for sale if you want it. But I live close to a few other YouTubers. Uh, AR Platinum's probably about a mile away from here. Uh, a lot of good people in this neighborhood, man. It's a real nice neighborhood, so better than our last one. Happy about it. Beautiful home. Uh, I'm proud of it. I really am. So it took uh, it took holding off having a child and it took, uh, man, 12 years, 13 years of saving and being diligent um, aside from having a hobby. But, uh, you know, post high school, I moved out at 18, went straight to college, took less than four years to get my degree, started working in sports and uh, been an uphill fight the entire way. So kind of happy and still going now. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because uh, we've built a relationship since 2006 on here and some of you guys I've known even longer than that. Uh, I just figured y'all might want to see that I moved and if you do need that new address just let me know. I don't check YouTube messages typically. Um, I haven't in five years checked YouTube messages because I used to get like 200 a day uh, when I was posting videos and group breaks and stuff like that. So stop doing that. But I will uh, look it up, you know, text me, hit me up on Facebook or YouTube or whatever you guys connect with me on. let you know the address or whatever if you need to send something or want to swing by because three of you guys um i guess you can type it below if you want but otherwise i won't put your business out there but three youtubers have already been to the house got a man cave upstairs obviously a theater room um with the man cave so did it first class because you know gotta watch martial games gotta cheer on the herd because that's what really matters when it comes down to it is it's all about martial anyway uh besides moving i'm gonna go down to the post uh post office the uh the mailbox it's not on the house here just like our last house it's like at the end of the road so if you guys live in any like housing development areas like nicer neighborhoods or whatever the hell you want to call them they stop putting the boxes like out front of your house so I need to go down the street grab my mail i know there's something in there from a youtuber so i'm about to snatch that up and i will do a mail day here i'm gonna go donate blood and then i'm going to goodwill and dropping off three bags of clothing and uh yeah this one sounds a little bit better than the other one. You guys might remember the track video I had from Texas Motor Speedway. Um, that one had some good upgrades on it. This one's a little, a little bit louder. Already over 3,000 miles on this too. Crazy. Bought it outright in June, so roughly six months. All right, I got the bags in the back. I'm pulling out of the garage now. Watch my mirrors, it's pretty tight. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm headed out to donate blood and donate this stuff to Goodwill. Like I said, my wife and I have increased our charitable donations this year. Um, we usually give just cash, which we still do. I give to Marshall University, I give to American Heart Association, we give to Cancer Society. 
Uh, those are standards. I do the MS150 donation. My boy rides his bike, you know, 150 mile bike ride for uh, muscular sclerosis and stuff. So we do stuff like that on a regular, and then uh, just the items we had, we want to donate some of that. So I'm about to grab my mail right now at the end of the road before I head out of the neighborhood. So back in a second. All right, guys, waiting to turn at a stoplight here. Uh, get the package. Shit. I know he doesn't really care too much, but there's a. Uh, it's from Tom, so Hudson Fan 15, doing his usual holiday cheer, Christmas gifts, Kwanzaa gifts, Hanukkah gifts, whatever the hell he celebrate. I don't think he cares for atheists. It doesn't matter what you celebrate. It's the fact that he's giving around this time of year. He always has been, and a lot of y'all are. So, so for some, sorry. It's 79 degrees, so it's beautiful out right now. So, anyway, um, Tom just doing his normal thing, just being real giving to the community and stuff like that. So, I want to make sure he gets his due, and I'll tag it onto this uh, little Hey I Moved video just because I've already had a couple things forwarded from the old house, and I want you guys to have the right address. So, uh, Tom did ask me uh, for the address, and let's see here. Hang on a second. You can see right there, I gave him the wrong address. I gave him the wrong zip code. I gave him my old zip code from uh, Pearland. Pearland's, you know, you probably know they're from Little League World Series. Pearland's uh, badass baseball uh, suburb. So I, it's in Houston. It's a south suburb. Uh, beautiful place. I lived two blocks from J.J. Watt at the old house. Uh, he had a much, much, much larger house, obviously. but Because um, the neighborhoods are all set up that way. In Texas, it's different than a lot of other states. Obviously, I've lived in four states, and I've been to 49 of the 50 states. So... Uh, the way it's set up down here, there's not really any zoning, so you can have an $80,000 home next to a half million dollar home next to a four million dollar home, like literally in a row in the same street. So stuff like that happens, uh, which is cool because I like diversity. I like that a lot. So it, it works well in the neighborhood we used to live in, and this neighborhood as well. This neighborhood's really split diverse wise uh, by race and religion as far as the census is concerned. Stuff. So we like being in a diverse area. Um, otherwise, I feel uncomfortable if it's not mixed. So good spot for us. It works for us. Um, don't really give a shit if it works for you. It just works for us. And that's what matters, uh, for my family. So, uh, we're happy to be here, but wasn't sure on, uh, sports, by the way, you know, moving from Pearland being a great, great, great sports town, uh, or sports suburb, so to speak, cause it's kind of Houston. It's counted in Houston population and stuff. Um, but we moved to Tascacita area, which, you know, Tascacita, Humble area, like I said, AR Platinum. A lot of my uh, co-workers and old co-workers from the Rockets are here um, in this neighborhood. It's a really nice place, uh, especially for families and stuff. But I was afraid the sports are going to be shit because I didn't know anything about it. Obviously, I didn't grow up in Texas, so I've lived here for many, many years, and I've lived here twice, actually. So I wasn't sure the sports teams up here would be, like, decent. And that matters to me, especially, you know, having the sun and stuff like that, and I'm huge into sports and stuff, too, so I want him to be involved, whatever sport he chooses, hopefully baseball, but either way, I, just, I want him to be involved in something, not be lazy playing video games all day. That should be a side thing, you know what I mean? So... Anyway, Atascacita apparently is like number two in basketball or something like that. And I don't know if it was in a state or what, but uh, one of my buddies that went to high school there lifts at the, the gym. I did my physical therapy at um, for the, the back surgery shit, so I still do physical therapy. Um, anyway, one of those guys went to Atascacita High School and he posted something on Facebook about being a badass basketball school and stuff. So while I'm not huge into basketball, even though I work for the NBA and stuff like that, and I watch college hoop, uh, I don't really like basketball that much. I was decent at it too. I couldn't shoot for shit, but uh, rebounding, I could dunk, you know, but I'm tall and used to not be fat. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, just not huge into basketball, but seeing that made me feel good about the neighborhood uh, or the area because I like sports to be competitive. I think sports builds a lot of character, builds teamwork, uh, helps you with collaboration and other stuff in your life, builds respect for others, builds leadership. Um, again like the diversity thing so like where i grew up actually uh, when i was real young wasn't a very diverse area the only diversity i had was through sports so you get to to know other people and see other cultures and meet other races and stuff uh through sports sports specifically i think are key to bringing people together except for if they root for the team different than the team you root for then <laughs> you just talk a bunch of shit i guess but uh anyway i don't know why i'm going off on little personal tangent and life lesson type shit but uh hey maybe three or four of you want to get to know me a little bit better maybe you don't care at all i don't know but i am uh 
going to cut this off here. Like I said, I'm going to pick up the stuff, or pick up the stuff, drop off the stuff at Goodwill, and then right down the street from that, I'm going to get blood. And then I will open this package from Tom in the parking lot. And it says that's a Fed 15 on the back, actually. So, all right, guys, I'm out for now. Later. All right, guys, here at the uh, blood center. So, ready to do my little duty stuff here. But let me put this down. I don't really know where to set this, but get a good look at the sky there. All right. Thank you, Tom. Let's get into this a little early Christmas. My wife and I this year, uh, obviously since we bought the new house and stuff like that, um, we decided it's not in our best interest to give each other gifts for Christmas. But what we're doing is we're exchanging um, baby gifts. So... We bought stuff we need for the child. Uh, we're going to open the boxes on Christmas Day and start assembling the stuff, you know, the crib and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys uh, if there's any interest. I mean, let me know below, below. You might not give a shit at all. I know a lot of you guys are parents, though, so maybe you care. Um, I'm going to show you the, the baby room, Griffey's room, uh, once it's done. So that'll be in January. So cut it close, I guess, because she's eight weeks out from having a child. So anyway. We're extremely happy about it. So, let me see here. Chad, happy holidays. Enjoy TWG Hudson Fan 15. Love it. The decoy action in the back. All right, go slow here. I'll show you one at a time. I'm not, not skip ahead here. The base card from Platinum. I got a little bit of a, a sinus infection or whatever the hell you call it. I have a deviated septum, which I won't go get fixed because I've had enough surgeries. I'm not going to get a stupid, unnecessary surgery. It's not needed, but it was recommended. Uh, saying it's like I have impacted teeth. I was supposed to get removed. I'm not getting that done. Um, yeah, so it, it's making me feel like a little weird. Like my nose isn't congested, but it's uh, it's pretty damn annoying. Like I got a little bit of a sore throat. My ear feels like it's ringing and fuzzy and stuff. Um, it's kind of shitty. thought you guys might be interested in that. What's weird, that bitch? <laughs> Can't bitch at home. I got a pregnant wife. She's going through a hard time, and she's the biggest she's ever been, so she's uncomfortable, so I got to act like, you know, I'm perfect around her, but uh, I'll complain to you guys. Oh, you got my back. Got Diamond Kings. I like that picture. Diamond Kings always did a good job with photography. Um, just like, what was the other one? Uh, Stadium Club. Stadium Club's always a great set for photography. <laughs> Moo Town Snackers. Autograph series. Uh, God, this has got to be early 90s Man, this has got to be 91 maybe that's crazy I can't see it on the back I don't see it here anyway that's cool I like the little oddball stuff I didn't collect it too much well I kept it if I got it as a kid but I didn't really like, collect it when I went to a like a hobby show or something like that like you know it was obviously hard to come by cards uh, like a lot of us and stuff so I'd beg my parents like, let me get a five dollar card right so I would obviously get some sort of insert of Griffey Jr. Uh, so I wouldn't buy the oddball stuff and I've picked up a lot of it through the years now so it's really cool okay I got one more card and then the hard case name, so hometown heroes you know uh, there's multiple versions of this I think it's like a blue border white border gold border I could be making one of those up um, but I don't know if I have the gold border. I think they're just different, like, prints of the same thing, so. Hmm. Judging by that, I would say it's an SPX card. Yeah, it's upside down. That's an SPX card. Which means, since it's Tom, that if I slide it this way, there should be a little statistic thing. What the... All right, first day with the camera here. There it is. <laughs> oh, shit, Tom. And it's green, so that means it is a one of one. <laughs> That's 2007, I believe, maybe 08, but I think it's 2007 SPX. They did a tribute to Ken Griffey Jr. There's 100 cards, uh, and all 100 cards were um, had a different, like, stat or whatever, maybe a home run stat, RBI stat, whatever it is. And the 100 cards had 799 of each card made. And then there was a version, I think, out of 25 of each one, something like that. And then there's a one of one of each version as well. And Tom got me the one of one. So this is career home run 343, 344. Griffey homered twice to become the third MLB player with back-to-back -back 50 home run seasons. This must be 
an 08 or 98 tribute. Actually, the only game used jersey I have of Griffey, uh, game used and autograph with three authentications, uh, is a 1998 jersey. So when he was right in the peak of his career. So pretty damn sweet. I've never shown that on camera, so I'll share that one day as well. Like I said, since we're moving the house, we're still doing a ton of stuff, unpacking stuff. Um, we don't have the days off at work because we both work, which is uh, a blessing and also a nightmare. So we're both always working, so we didn't have time to set up the house the way we want it. But as soon as we get it, um, I'll show you more of the inside and some of that, show you how I rearranged the man cave stuff from how it used to be. It's similar in some ways, but it's also not. So anyway, I'll show that all to you. But um, things like this get thrown in with all my centerpiece type items. So this obviously doesn't need the collection for any reason. So thank you very much, Tom. Obviously, you know that <laughs> this is right up my alley. I mean, it literally doesn't get better than a Griffey one of one. So this is freaking awesome, man. And it's a cool stat. Great years. Formative years. So, man, that's cool. Too kind of you, dude. Um, greatly appreciate it, though. I really do. And thank you for continuing your holiday cheer every year. Um, I've been watching your series. Obviously, I've commented on about half of them. Um, if you don't know right now, I'll link Tom's page below, which I've done probably dozens of times throughout the years. Uh, for good reason. So if you're not familiar, obviously he's a Hudson, Tim Hudson fan and collector, and he's been showcasing his whole collection by year on his page. So uh, click the link, check it out. Uh, maybe I'll link directly to a video, maybe I'll link to his page, but uh, it's pretty cool. You get to see how deep his collection is. It's pretty incredible. Like it's very, very deep collection. So uh, yeah, if you want to see a super collector in action, check out Tom's page, but, uh, man, I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much, dude. My best to you and your wife and Merry Christmas. Thank you.